Welcome back to Magic Tarot. It's Jasmine with a seven card spread. This is for Kobe Bryant's other woman, the one that has his twins, her final thoughts and feelings. Okay, I've been trying to do this for a while and I'm just not getting to it. So let's get started. First, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this is the page looking at his coin. <clears throat> this is called the messenger of hope so i feel like she's studying the coin she this is the other woman the one that has his children um i feel like she's looking at the coin because she's thinking about you know now that kobe has gone how is she going to you know provide for her children what is she going to do um she's got a lot of thoughts in her head um she's also thinking about going back to school uh, furthering her education i'm also seeing that she's thinking about material material stuff like she needs things for her children maybe a different home um she's thinking about how she can get money that that is rightfully hers as, you know from kobe's estate so i feel like she's hiring an attorney um someone that's going to help her out um yeah so all this stuff is swirling and swirling around in her head she's like excuse me guys sorry i had to yawn all of a sudden um I feel like she's, you know, working up a plan because uh, she's already, she's been grieving. She's been grieving, and now she wants to move forward with uh, her life and raise her children. But she needs, you know, financial help, and she feels like, you know, part of Kobe's estate is rightfully hers. So here is the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So the when it's in that right position this is someone that moves up the hill leaving everything behind and moving up and i feel like she this is how she was when her and kobe were were not together when kobe i went back to his wife uh she went on you know to live her life raise her children he was fi helping her financially but i feel like she just went on with her life she was raising her children and trying to find seek something better but now it's in the reverse okay when when it's in the reverse i feel like uh, she's already arrived at that state and now she wants again what's rightfully hers she's ready to get back into the material world she's grieved uh, for what she can grieve for and now she wants a cut of what belongs to her because this card is called leaving an attachment and that's what she did i think when um you know she had those kids from kobe and then he went back to his wife so she left that attachment meaning she you know wasn't with him and she went on you know to raise her kids by herself and stuff like that but now she's ready to um get back into the picture of things she wants a material success material success is what i'm hearing she wants money to be able to provide for her kids both of these almost say the same thing this one and this one here um i do see um i do see a new i'm actually seeing a new love interest for her uh in view i do feel like she's talking to someone um and um when she comes forth i feel like this person's going to be with her he's going to be re be revealed as well when she comes forth to claim the money that she feels like is rightfully hers he's going to show up the person that she's involved with is going to show up I, I i'm just feeling that that's what i'm hearing and that's what this card is also suggesting it is suggesting that there's going to be travel um she's going to travel with friends or family um and she's seeking like new adventures now she wants n new love and new passion she's ready to live again she doesn't want to just be sad and crying she's ready to live again and go back into the world and live again okay so now here we have the the hierophant so i feel like this is when she appears in court she's going to appear in court there's the judge um he's holding up his power stick and his hand so he's raising both hands up in the air because he's trying to show you know his power um everything that he stands for and believes in so i do feel like something is coming in for her this is the card of confirmity so this card is here to confirm uh, and since it's there's money she's seeking here this is the card to confirm that i do feel like she's going to get her cut or part of her cut or part of what she feels like belongs to her so yeah this is the card of confirmity. So it is confirming um, 
a new living condition, a new way of living. Uh, if you're in court and you're suing, it's it's the conformity of winning the court. Um, I'm also hearing that she's seeking social approval, um, marriage, and education. So I feel like she's going to be re-entering the world with, with a new marriage, new education, and just a new way of living because the old way of living is gone for her. It's no longer there. And she wants that money that's rightfully hers to take care of her kids and to bring in this new life for herself that she's, she wants to do. Okay, so yes, this is the card of conformity. Okay, so this is her again. And th these are in her private thoughts. Uh, she was sad, you know, when Kobe passed away. She was sad and felt like she missed out on something. She kind of felt like she should have been the one that was in Vanessa's shoes. She wanted to be the one that was in there, you know, married to him, um, uh, you know, living that life. Okay, and then she's been sad and crying about it. And, um, but what she's forgetting is that she still has two people here behind her, and those are the twins. These two represent the twins, you know, and it's time to stop grieving, stop stop uh, crying and that's what these other cards here represent and she wants to move forward she needs to cross over this bridge and get to the land of opportunity because this card here does represent two people that are still behind her that she still has what what was what she had before is gone okay that was kobe that is gone but now she still has these two that she can still live live for okay so next to it is the um Three of Swords. So this represents a third party. So this is Kobe, her, and Vanessa. So I feel like her heart also was broken, not just because of his death, but before, you know, she truly loved him. And she wanted to be with him as well, but he also broke her heart when he went back to Vanessa. So she also suffered a heartbreak because of a third party. So to her, Vanessa was a third party. And then to Vanessa, she was a third party. So they both had broken hearts. This is a three party. So she, not just Vanessa suffered a broken heart when Kobe cheated, but this other woman suffered a broken heart when Kobe went back to Vanessa. And she wanted to be in those shoes. That's what this card here represents. She wanted to be in Vanessa's shoes and live that kind of lifestyle. And she already has children by him as well. So she wanted to, you know, live that kind of life. But Chosie, Chosie. <laughs> Kobe chose Vanessa, you know, to finish the rest of his life out with because that that's who he, you know, he had more children with her and that's who he wanted to be with. Hold on, let me get a drink. Okay. And, um, yeah. So next we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I do see the Wheel of Fortune is going to spin again for her. It's going to come upright, especially when if she wins the case course because see where it falls right underneath this case court right underneath the hair front right underneath the conformity court so her the wheel of fortune is going to start spinning for her and she's going to have good luck i do feel like the rest of her life is going to be good i see marriage coming in for her with whoever she's going to be with or maybe a new partner i see her going back to school again getting an education and raising her kids her kids will have uh you know the money to to get their education and I just see her moving along she's gonna stop grieving for everything and in her mind she's gonna say a lesson well learned I hear her saying that to herself I learned a lesson you know and I want to move forward from that I don't want to grieve no more I don't want to be sad no more I want to live for my children and for myself but I want them to have a, a good education a good life I want, she wants them to have a good um, um, chance in life okay yeah, she wants them to also be, you know, have a good chance in life, just like his other children that he had by Vanessa. This lady wants her kids to have the same chance. So that's why she wants that money. She wants what is rightfully hers, and I do see it coming in for her because here we have the, like I said, it falls under the the Hierophant, which is the card of conformity. It falls under there, and then look what comes next, the genie. Okay, and this is the yes card. So this is her every wish is going to come true. This The genie's here with his arms crossed, sitting on this bench, and he's ready to grant your every wish. So whatever she's wishing for and hoping for is going to materialize for her. 
She's going to be very happy, actually, when this happens. She's going to move in a new direction. And this represents everything, family, home, children, car, money, love. So all that is coming in for her. I don't feel like she's going to suffer any financially or anything like that. Maybe emotionally she has suffered because of Kobe. And in her mind, you know, she kind of stays stuck over here. She kind of stays stuck in it, thinking about it. And, and I feel like she also says to herself, I wish I could have been with him. I wish this would have worked out this way. Or I wish, you know, that would have been me. Or, you know, things like that, that what goes on in her mind. But in reality, she knows that it would have never been. That I do feel like Kobe cared about her. He had feelings for her too, but I think he had more feelings for Vanessa than he did her because he went back to Vanessa instead of stayed with her. He was with this other woman when Vanessa was trying to divorce him, when they were going through divorce and they were separated. That's when he was dating this other woman, okay? And I'm feeling like she was a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. But, um, yeah, and then when Vanessa came back into the picture, by then this lady was already pregnant, so he went back to Vanessa because Vanessa already had kids, you know, so... Yeah, that's what happened. But anyway, I do feel like all everything's going to come in for her. She's going to be, you know, getting a good chunk of money. She's going to be able to raise her kids, send her kids through education. She might go back and get an education herself or something like that is coming in for her. And I also see a marriage for this woman. If she's not already married, I see a marriage coming in for her. Yeah, but those are her final thoughts and feelings. I wanted to do this really quick because I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Someone asked me to do it as well in the comments, and I just haven't had it because, done it because I've been doing a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, that is that is her final thoughts and feelings and what is going to happen with her. Um, I hope that whoever she is, she reveals herself soon because I'm dying to know what she looks like. <laughs> I kind of think I know who it is, but we'll see when it pops up. All right, guys, this is... The reading for Kobe Bryant's Other Woman, her final thoughts and feelings. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the information down below. Remember, this channel is my brand. You're not allowed to copy it for any reason whatsoever. All right, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.